Welcome back to the next video. This cylinder head is the one that I'm going to fit. Oh, it shouldn't really slide it around like that, but it's on wood. Um, it's a 12G940 off an A series 1275. I bought it second hand from um, one of the shows last year. I can't remember which one now. Um, but first thing I'm going to do, I already took a couple of valves out a little while ago. So I'm going to strip all the rest of the valves out and have a good look at the valve guides and see if there's any play in them and uh, start to clean this uh, cylinder head up, take some of the studs out and whatnot. When you're trying to take valves out using a valve spring compressor they never move straight away so just get a socket and just give them a little tap just like that to free off the um, spring and this is the fun part where you've got to try and prop the uh, cylinder head up just going to take out the um, temperature switch and the head so I don't damage it any further than it already is although I should probably uh, replace it anyway it's quite well in there so I started off by removing cylinder number one so I'll remove the valves from cylinder number two now That was quite tight in there. This um, cylinder head is a completely unknown history. I've just bought it second hand from uh, somebody selling a few parts at a show, so it's kind of a, a voyage of discovery taking it apart. not a good sign how tight that valve is to come out of there. I'm just going to uh, pop off the uh, seal and see if it moves any easier. Thank you. 
That's too tight that is, that shouldn't be that tight in there. I think we can see that's a bit focus on there. It's got a little bit rusty and dirty that is. I'll have to have a good look at that valve guide. Things like that suggest to me it may be maybe necessary to replace the valves, but we'll um, we'll have a good look and see what the state of it is. I'm hoping not to have to have the valve guides done, but we'll see. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera. There's ever so slightly different these valve stem seals. Either these ones have been squashed by an overly large cam and that one's normal or something's gone a little bit odd with them but they look a bit different. So that's all the valves out, valve stem seals out. Let's have a look at the other side. Wow, there's plenty of rust in there. I think the first job is going to be doing a bit of uh, cleaning up. We'll get some of these studs out now. So I've spent a couple of evenings here in the garage working on this cylinder head. I've got all cleaned up. I've cleaned as much as I can out of the ports. And I've cleaned all the valves up, which are in little bags numbered. You can see that for the cylinder that each valve came out of. So they're all, you can see on the end there, cleaned up quite nicely. Um, they're all cleaned up. I've kept the caps and the collets together because I've ordered new valve springs so these are just in a jumbly mess on there. I've got some paste and I've got a stick I've put back in the toolbox so I'm going to get the valves lapped in next um, and then I'm waiting on some parts. I've ordered new valve springs, double valve springs, um, valve stem seals, a 1275 head gasket, a thermostat gasket, rocker cover gasket. I've ordered a new uh, pipe for the uh, bypass hose and uh, yeah those bits are, are on order I've also ordered a DTI because I want to check my camshaft timing in the engine as well so the engine's sitting over there it's not been dismantled yet um, I've not taken the old cylinder head off because when my DTI comes I want to just measure the uh, uh, valve lift just to clarify it I'll show you some, a little bit now that I've done a little bit of work um, to work out some of the work that I need to do. So I'm just going to move the camera and I'll talk you through it. Right, you, you may or may not be able to read it. I've been working out some things. So the exhaust cam lift on the camshaft I've got is um, it's in on the website. It's spec'd in thousands, but I can't work in thousands so I've converted it to millimetres so 7.3 millimetres exhaust cam lift standard rockers are about 1.3 to 1 I believe with that and the exhaust cam lift it means that the valve lift will be about 9.23 millimetres that's what I want to confirm on the uh, engine before I take the cylinder head off the cylinder, on the cylinder head, the face of the head to the face of the valve measures 7.2 millimetres and the compressed height 
from a little bit of research of the uh, BK450 gasket that I'm going to use is about 0.84 millimeters. So with those sums done, the um, head space in the head plus the gasket gives me 8.04 millimeters, which is means my um, valve lift will be 1.2 um, or 1.19 past where it's going to contact the block. This is the exhaust valves on the cylinder head I'm putting on the engine it will contact the uh, contact the engine block without doing anything so what I've got to do there is make a small relief on the engine block at each valve position each exhaust valve position so that when the exhaust valve is fully open it doesn't contact the engine block it's a, the cylinder head I'm using is a 12G940 1275 cylinder head it's an early one so it's um, from a, a, a um, leaded fuel car so it doesn't have hardened inserts in the exhaust valves which I'm not going to get done I'm just going to run an additive in the fuel tank so that's all about as far as I can go at the moment I'm still waiting for my DTI to come and my parts to come I've put an order into mini spares so until those things come I can't really progress any further I don't want to take this old cylinder head off the engine because I want to just clarify my uh, my workings out by measuring the uh, valve lift with the with the head that's on there um, but I haven't got a DTI yet to measure that with so once that comes I can take that measurement um, and then I've got to I've got to make some reliefs in the block to clear the um, exhaust valves I'm not going to strip the block down completely and send it to a machine shop I'm going to give it a go doing something myself with what equipment I've got at home so that will be probably not the next video the one after the next video I'm hoping to clarify my measurements with the engine we've got mark out where the reliefs need to be and uh, double check my cam timing because that's quite important I kind of roughed it with a recommended size offset woodruff key when I fitted the cam um, and I want to verify it so once I've got my DTI I'll be able to verify that so short one for this weekend there'll be another video out next weekend providing the parts come and uh, I'll see you then thanks for watching